Welcome, my friends, to level 7 Jack Skellington Quest. Let's see what this man is up to this time. You're just in time! Yeah. I've made a fantastic discovery. Why, this almost rivals when I first paired orange with black. <laughs> oh, orange is the new black. Is I, I love the show. It was so much fun. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> There's something missing from the heart of Dreamlight Valley. That's rude. Nothing was missing before you got here. How ominous. What is it? <laughs> A holiday. Fair enough. Uh-huh. Consider this. There is a clear connection between the Holiday Forest and Dreamlight Valley. Uh, but there's no holiday. It's, it's what's been missing all along. That actually makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the evidence all points in the same direction. I've dubbed the missing holiday the Dreamlight Day, and I want to bring it to life. That sounds like a cool holiday, man. Mm hmm would you, hear, would you care to help me? That sounds uh, dangerous given your history. <laughs> oh, Star and Sky, that was a completely different oh. situation. I've learned my lesson. Okay, speaking about holidays, since we were, since we're doing a holiday quest, let me get into holiday spirit. I'm ready. I'm ready for a dreamlight day. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah. This is more like growing a new one from a seed. All right, I guess it can't hurt. Uh, what do you need? I need you to pull me some villagers. Ask them about the favorite holidays and what those holidays mean to them. Uh -oh. There's so many different people here that it stands to reason Dreamlight Day will be the sum of those pots. Fair enough. <laughs> I suggest you talk to Vanellope, Scar, Olaf, and Minnie for a cross-representative sample. Well, that is awfully specific. I must go. Uh, let's start with whoever's closest. <laughs> I don't know who. Okay, so I'm going to try to guess who whose holiday, favorite holiday, which is. I'm going to guess for Scar is going to be something like something dark, like Halloween or Day of the Dead, something like that. Let's see. Back to bother me again. Oh, we oh, goody. I'll be quick, Scar. I promise. Just have a few little questions for you. You only wish to disrupt my day momentarily. That's so kind. I know, I'm a, I'm a kind ruler of this valley, so shut up and listen to your master. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, so rude, uh. yeah. Yes, you are. Yet somehow I managed to keep my temper in check. <laughs> okay, I love this guy. Somebody give this guy a medal for being a funny little lion. That was adorable. Get to it. All right. I wanted to know. What is your favorite holiday and why? Is it one of those human things you all are so fond of? Well, humans like them, but no reason it has to be limited to us. A holiday is sort of a ritual that we do to mark something important. And also take a day off from work. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like it might have a merit. Uh, I'm reminded... Of when the kingdom subject gathered Pride Rock to bear witness to the new lion prince or princess. Oh, yeah. Was that a holiday? I guess so. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> Having subjects gather and pay tribute to one of the majesty is quite satisfying. I agree. Great, I'll pass that along to Jack Skellington. Uh -huh. The walking skeleton is behind this. <laughs> Perhaps I'll put aside my plans to gnaw those old bones for now. Okay. You did it. Huzzah. And he is back to being Scar. Fine. 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 Okay, that was fair enough. Let's go talk to Vanellope right here. Her holiday probably going to have something to do with candy, if I were to guess. Hey there, pal. Come here. Hello, Vanellope. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> you just did. <laughs> I like her too. I like all of them. Um, almost. <laughs> Except Maui. Please don't make me talk to Maui. It, to be fair, if you think about it, Maui... I feel like he is not very involved in the quest lines, usually. Like, how often the quest requires you to go talk to Maui? I don't think very often at all. 
Moving on. <laughs> That's right. Run in fear of my superior humor. Oh, I'm trying to help Jack Skeleton with something. What's your new? Fa what's your favorite holiday? Holiday. I know those from the internet. Holidays are when your game has multi-week-long events, new mini games, and sometimes new kind of currency, right? <laughs> okay, that is good. That is good. Also, free gifts. Uh, something like 500 moonstones. Thank you, by the way. Thank you, Dreamlight Valley. I appreciate it. Yeah. Sugar Rush was too old to be connected to the internet, and Slaughter Race hasn't had any of that that I can think of. I can't say I've experienced one, but they sound fun. I love the idea of a special power-ups that give you new and exciting powers. I'll tell, I'll tell Jack. Expect something fun when Dreamlight Day kicks off. That sounds terrifying. Thank you. Power-ups. And also blessing new princesses. Okay, Olaf, I sure you love Christmas, right? Hi, Olaf. Can I ask you a few questions? Mm. Yes, of course. I love answering questions. Jack Skeleton and I are trying to come up with a new holiday for Dreamlight Valley. And we wanted to ask that your favorite holiday and why. What, what is your favorite holiday and why? <gasps> well, holidays are too special to choose just one, but I definitely have a favorite holiday activity. Eating ice cream. What is it? Oh, giving presents. Okay, fair enough. All year long, I collect trivia about my friends, what they like, what they need, and the things they don't do for themselves. And then I come up with the perfect present for them. That is very thoughtful, Olaf. You know, that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> I just love the looks of their faces when they unwrap something I have given them. It's like the best warm hug ever. Aww. Thank you, Olaf. Goodbye! That is awesome. This guy is awesome. I've seen some people saying the first thing they do when the update comes in to send Olaf away to Eternity Isle to never see him in the, in the valley. What the hell? Why? He's adorable and so kind. Don't be mean to Olaf. He's a nice guy. Who's the last guy I need to talk to? Uh, Mini. Mini Moose. I'm coming for you. Excuse me. I Hello? Need help. No, you don't. Hello. Hi there. A moment for a little poll. I'm talking to a bunch of villagers on behalf of Jack Skellington. Of course, there is Guy. What would Jack like to know? What's your favorite holiday and why? Something to do with flowers. Maybe giving flowers. I don't know. Oh. I adore different things about all the holidays, but if I had to say one that's most fun is would be Halloween. Could you come and see me? I did not guess a single one. All of them said the things that I didn't even What how what? Minnie likes Halloween? What? Explain. Ooh. I just love dressing up and being scared. Mickey, what what kind of what, what, what kind of stuff are you up to? What the hell? What did you do to Minnie? She has a scare... <laughs> I, I, I can... Ooh, hey, anyway, I'm having too, too many inappropriate thoughts. Let's, let's keep them inside my head. That's kind of surprising, to be honest. Oh. Really? Why? I love experimenting with fashion. You do! You literally wear the same dress every single day that has polka dots on it. Thought I do like being fun scared, not real scared. <laughs> okay. When I was trapped at the, at the here and there, that was the really scary and not fun at all. Fair enough. What do you like about being fun scared? Mm -hmm. It's just so exciting. Yeah. It's like a marvelous surprise. And when it's over, you remember that you're safe and surrounded by your friends. Aww. That's really sweet. Okay, that that's more like it. So we're gonna scare people, then bless them, then give them gifts? What was Thank the other you. thing? Oh, and, and they're gonna gain power-ups. <laughs> what a crazy holiday this is gonna be. Cannot wait to see Remember, it in action. 
Alistair and Sky were you able to find out her thoughts on holidays? Yep, Vanellope seems really intrigued by the idea of holiday-themed power-ups. And Scar really likes the idea of holiday where subjects pay tribute to him. Oh, that was... Okay, that makes more sense. I have some ideas already. Olaf loves collecting trivia about his friends so he can give them the perfect gifts. And Minnie surprisingly loves Halloween. <laughs> Isn't she marvelous? Absolutely. Minnie says she loves a good fun fright. Uh. Excellent. Well, then I know just what to do for her. Scare the crap out of her. Rapunzel. Uh. It's a surprise, both for her and you. Can I get a mm. hint? Uh... <laughs> I'll tell you is... All I'll tell you is people say that you eat with your eyes first. But that won't be true here. I wish I didn't know. How mysterious. What about the others? <laughs> I'll need your help for them. Alright. What do I need to do for, for Vanellope? <laughs> I want to give her a special token of holiday game time fun. <laughs> Could you make me a brightly colored candy skull? You'll need sugarcane, vanilla, and dreamlight fruit. I'll speak to Remy. Yeah, sounds easy. What do I want uh -huh. for Scar? <laughs> Fresh vegetables. Zucchini, potatoes, tomatoes, and bell peppers and Forgotten Lands and bring them to me. Why do I have to grow them in Forgotten you Lands? I already have them. Eyes. Thank you, Christoph. Bye. Vegetables grown in Forgotten Lands. Wait, seriously? <laughs> I've been taking soil samples from each of the biomes and there's some fascinating magic in the soil of Forgotten Lands. Must be all the rotten pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Scar strikes me as quite sophisticated, and I'm sure the soil of Forgotten Lands will create exquisite vegetables. All right. And the Ooh. Olaf explore his joy of trivia by sharing some very special books with him. Uh -huh. Ooh. Could you gather fiber, dark wood, and fabric? Are you literally going to craft a book? Uh -huh. All right. Ah. Now off you go. We have a holiday to plan. You're Oh, this is going to be a big quest. Oh, boy. All right. Let's do them one by one. Craft a blank book. Let's start with the, with the simple one. We just got three quests for the price of one. Isn't that lovely? All right. Blank book. Ooh, that is a fancy looking book. I like it. All three of them. All right. This is done. There's work to do. All right. What's next? What's the next step? Back with the books. Dreamlight Day is going to be great. Uh -huh. My excitement is practically bobbling like demon breath in a tar pit. That's kind of gruesome. <laughs> it is, right? Now we've still got work to do. Let's carry on. Ah, plant, grow, and harvest the following vegetables. Zucchini, potato, tomato, bell paper. Oh, God. Well, lucky me, I have a nice little potion here. What is this glitch? Oh, yeah, these orbs give, like, super cool in-camera effects. If you if you want, like, a can cool effect. Can I talk effect. to you? No, I can't. No, you can't. Can I get a little help here? Fine, you can talk to me. Candy making. Yeah. That's a complicated topic. I'm trying to make a candy skull for Jack Skellington. <laughs> For a project he has but he said it should be brightly colored too and i'm not exactly sure how to do that Th the recipe calls for sugarcane vanilla and dreamlight fruit but i feel like something is missing <laughs> okay that is delicious candy brightly colored uh dull visually i feel like dreamlight fruit is pretty colorful ah. food coloring and you're in luck because i just made some from strawberries Oh. Okay. Thank you, uh -huh. Remy. Uh -huh. Be careful with water around the candy. Spill some water on it and it could dissolve and melt away. How? That's not something you can do in the game. That's not a mechanic that exists. Anyway, let, let, let's glug, glug, glug the potion. And let's lose some seeds in my inventory or some stuff. I have too much stuff, man. And of course it starts raining when I need to plant stuff! So that means I won't be able to water it. <laughs> Why you do this to me? You know what? Why am I doing this manually? 
I can do so much. I can do it so much easily. I can go and put one of these bad boys. Uh, let's automate the whole process. Regular ancient gardener. That's that's more than I need. There's a lot about this valley. So we're gonna dig. Bam. Then we're gonna plant. Uh, Oh boy, if I plant this... Ah, screw it, it's raining anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's just do it. Plant, plant eight potatoes. Plant two tomatoes. Plant uh, 12 zucchinis, why not? And plant... Plant... I only have enough space for two bell peppers. Whatever, whatever dude, I don't care. I'm gonna have to wait for forever anyway now, so not that it matters. We're gonna do bell peppers. Ah, let's just just blend all of them, it doesn't matter. And let's collect all of this stuff. Gonna select this, 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 collect. Okay, not gonna lie, vacuum feels satisfying, and here it do this sucking it in. Uh, that's so much fun. All right, now we're gonna wait forever for this stuff to grow, I guess. Oh, Eric came to visit me. Look at them zucchinis, Eric. Would you like a zucchini? Anyway, let's harvest all of this stuff. I hope it counts. I hope it counts. Beautiful. This quest done. This quest done. How many zucchinis do we need? This makes no sense. Okay, I can understand. Like, look, you harvest two zucchinis per plant, but there's clearly one zucchini on the plant itself. For peppers, you harvest one, even though there's multiple peppers on, on the bush. I don't understand the logic of Disney Dreamlight Valley. I just don't get it. It should be the opposite. Why did you why did you do it like this? And potatoes, something that usually are multiple in a bush. You also harvest one. It's like they made it the opposite. The opposite way that it's supposed to be. Alright, let's bring the vegetables back to Jack. Oh look at Eric using his beautiful muscles to cast it road. That is awesome. Yep it is, and you are in the toilet. Can you come out please? Alright, here you go. Wow, this guy is... He's gonna hit his head if he tries to go into this toilet. Vegetable delivery... Delivery... Why is it... Vegetable delivery for Jack Skellington. <laughs> I've been never so happy to receive non-pumpkin produce. Yeah, I'm sick of pumpkins. Don't ask me for any pumpkins. Alright. So, what are you planning for Scar? That's a surprise for both you and Scar. Okay, fine. This new holiday will surprise and delight everybody. You will see. Farewell. I don't know if it's a good thing or not a good thing. Honestly, I have no clue. <laughs> the candy skull. Oh, that is cool. To be honest, the skull itself doesn't look very colorful at all. But okay. Fair enough. It says new recipe. I don't think it's something that I can craft multiple of because I don't have... Unless I can craft uh, the food coloring, which would be... Actually, would, would, which would make sense. That would, that would definitely make sense, you know? To be able to craft food colorings and use them in different recipes. That should be an actual thing in the game. Oh, you're What's still in the this? toilet. I sense adventure. All right, here you go. Here you go, Jack. One can do skull is uh. promised. If I had a skin, it would be goosebumped now. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> You're very good at following directions. There are three children in Halloween Town who could learn a lot from you. What are you planning with a candy skull? Uh -huh. Oh, you'll see. It's not just quite yet. Alright. I really like it here. 
Oh boy, this is gonna be a very, very scary quest. I finished the last of my holiday errands, Jack. Dreamlight day is going to be great. <laughs> yes, yes, it will. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that was unnerving. Mm -hmm. Well, I have perfected my laugh to be as bone chilling as possible. Jack, your reactions are really starting to make me think that you have some kind of ulterior mo mod of here. What are you really planning? Uh -huh. A lovely dream I did for all, I promise. <laughs> I'm quite certain everyone will enjoy my holiday surprises. Say, have you seen my pal Donald Duck? All right, fine, we'll see. What's next? Mm -hmm. We're almost done. I handle many surprises myself. Thank you for all your help. I'm even feeling nostalgic for when I last explored another holiday. I hope Dreamlight Day goes well. <sighs> Between our combined creativities and love for holidays, I'm sure it will be experienced the village won't soon forget. He keeps being like making these lines that could be interpreted in a good way or a bad way. I won't lose control of the holiday this time. Okay. I'll give you the benefit of a doubt. Besides, I still want to see how it uh -huh. turns out. It will be wonderful. <laughs> but I have finishing touches to attend to. We'll Aha! speak again on Dreamlight Day. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm so glad you're my friend. Olaf, you're, you're going to get absolutely destroyed on the Dreamlight Day. I have a feeling. Anyway, I guess we're going to find out in the next one. If you guys want to see uh, the Dreamlight Day. Star and Sky Edition. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.